We're here at the 5G Transport event in New York City. I'm here with Glenn Walbrock of Verizon. Glenn, thanks so much for being here today. Thank you, Bill. Um, I uh, really enjoyed your keynote today about uh, 5G deployment and where Verizon is in terms of uh, millimeter wave. Uh, maybe you could give us a little bit of a, an update as to you know why millimeter wave, why you were concentrating on talking about that, and sort of what the uh, the technical progress has been so far. You bet. Be happy to. It's it's a great time. We just launched the service, but millimeter wave is a huge amount of spectrum. You know, before it was usually measured in tens of megahertz. Right. Even the mid band, they're talking about maybe 100, 150. But at millimeter wave, 850 megahertz of spectrum, just at 28 gigahertz. So this, this really allows us to do a lot more functionality, push a lot of those bits onto folks, and, and reach out and do a wireless service like we're offering today for broadband replacement. And that's a 5G home service, right? 5G home service. This is brand new markets for us where we're going in with a broadband service that we're really pretty good at, and we can offer it to brand new folks that we haven't been able to address before. That's a, that's a great market opportunity. Yeah, absolutely. And now, it, it, as uh, as this is coming out to uh, uh, to consumer markets, and and then as we're as we're talking about rolling this out, you know, nationwide eventually, um, what, one of the uh, sort of things that people are concerned about is sort of you know what 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 five G looks like. And you showed some slides today that that showed um, you know designs that were not these uh, you know big garish boxes. Um, what, what was going on there? What was sort of the technology behind the scenes that was making that possible? It's, uh, it's once again, millimeter wave. Okay. Because the, the frequency is much, much higher, so the antenna can be much, much smaller. Okay. And that's the real treat. I mean, a, a conventional LTE down in, say, 700 megahertz for us, quite a very large frequency. Our antenna to support the low frequency. Great propagation characteristics, but you got to pay for it in antenna size. Where millimeter wave, those antennas can get down very, very small and we can hide them in places where you might not be able to hide great big antennas. They're also much more power efficient. So there's a lot of goodness that comes out of that millimeter wave spectrum, and it's why we want to exploit it first. Yeah, absolutely. And now to get to get that to work right, you have to get it you know, pretty close to the customer. You have to move it down to that customer yeah. edge. And to get that to happen, you can't really put fiber in every single place that you need one of those antennas. So how are you addressing that challenge? Yeah, that's the uh, integrated access and backhaul functionality that 3GPP is looking to standardize. We're very active in there because we want to use some of that spectrum to, to group the antennas together. Think of a city park or up and down a street, where if we have fiber at the end of the street, we can attach it and then microwave, I mean, uh, uh, millimeter wave to the other locations, or E-band. I mean, there's a number of ways to do it, but when it's integrated into that same device, then you don't have to have separate antennas, you don't have to have separate process and everything of that nature in order to provide that connectivity to those remote antennas. When, when might we see that level of integration happening in the market? I know wind's always a, a, yeah, wind's a tricky always trying, question. Right? Yeah. <laughs> so we're pushing as hard as we can, but sure. uh, really this is something that they look to standardize next year. Okay. So hopefully by, the, by this time next year we start to see some of this come through. Uh, granted, it, it'll go through multiple iterations as most things do, uh, but we should see stuff starting to come about next year. So with, uh, you know, besides integrated electronics and some of the things that are sort of uh, propelling that forward, what else has you excited about um, you know, Verizon's deployment of millimeter waves since this is just, just now you know, hitting the market this year? Right, right. It's uh, two things. One's the amount of bandwidth that we can provide, and then the applications that it opens up, and those customer opportunities. That's brand new revenue from folks that, that were able to go out and, and now address, and we hadn't been able to do that necessarily in the past. Right, excellent. Okay, Glenn, thanks so much. I really appreciate it. Enjoyed the keynote, and thanks for, right. uh, for being here. Thank you, Phil.